Using the Library Manager of Tina, Part 3. Adding Complete Spice Libraries in DOT Model Format. Semiconductor device manufacturers often provide models for their components in DOT Model Format. These are normally placed in a text file, also called library, containing many DOT Model instructions. In this video, we will show how to add such libraries to Tina. Of course, you can also create models in dot .model format and add to Tina in a similar way. In Tina, there are two such sample libraries called diodes.lib and transistors.lib. We will show how to add diodes.lib to Tina's catalog available for part selection. Start the library manager using the start menu of Windows 10. Click the Tina program folder. Select the library manager. First, open the diodes.lib file from the examples spice folder using the file open file command or the corresponding icon on the toolbar. Select file, open file. Select examples. Select diodes.lib. The window shown above listing the contents of the file appears. From the File menu, execute the Create Tina Library Description for Spice Models and Subcircuits command. Change the Manufacturer's field to My Diodes. Do not change the other settings. Press OK. The list of the models in the new Tina library appears. The list contains three normal diodes and three Zener diodes. In the SPICE language, there is no difference between normal, Zener, LED, Schottky, Vericap, and other diodes. However, in Tina, you can assign different schematic symbols to these types. To do this, select Categorize Components from the Edit menu. The following dialog box will appear. Select the Zener diodes, the last three items on the list, by checking them one by one while holding the Control key. Then press the Zener button. The shape and component type identifiers will change from D to DZ, ensuring the use of the Zener diode symbols in Tina. Press OK. Using the File Save As command, save both the diodes.lib and the diodes.tld files into your private catalog folder. You can select the private catalog folder with the small arrow next to the Save button. You can also save the new .lib and .tld files to a shared catalog folder for all the users on the same computer or network. With administrator privileges, you can also save them in Tina's main folder. Select the window showing the content of the diodes.tld file. Alternatively, you can set the Save As type to star.tld in the Save As dialog. Using the File Save As command, save the diodes.tld file into your private catalog folder. You can select the private catalog folder with the small arrow next to the Save button. Click Save. Select the window showing the content of the diodes.lib file. Alternatively, you can set the Save As type to star.lib in the Save As dialog. Using the File Save As command, save the diodes.lib file into your private catalog folder. Now let's test the newly added diodes in Tina. Close the Library Manager, close if it was open, and reopen Tina. The following message will appear. New library detected. Library must be recompiled. 
It may take a few minutes. Continue. Click Yes to add your library to Tina's Libraries. Select Zener Diode from the toolbar and drop a diode onto the schematic. Double click the diode. Press the small button with the three dots on it at the type line. Select the My Diodes library using the drop down menu of the library field at the top left corner of the Catalog Editor dialog box. You can also find your new normal diodes under the Diodes category of the toolbar in a similar way. Note that you can add new diodes to an existing manufacturer catalog if in the Library Manager, in the Create Tina Library Description command, you enter a manufacturer name already used in Tina. In a similar way, you can add transistors given by dot model spice commands to TINA using the transist.lib library. There is no need to categorize these components since the NPN, PNP, NMOS, PMOS, etc. transistors have different notations in spice. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina, free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud-based, multi-language, installation-free online version of Tina, running in your browser anywhere in the world.